Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. So today we are doing swath width testing on the T40. We use a string test. So a string test uses a string like you see behind us, if you can see it, and the drone flies over the string with some dye in it, so pink fluorescent dye. And each test, so we have about 24 different tests here, different heights, speeds, nozzle types, our settings, um, different rates, things like that. And with each different test, we have to do three different applications. So he flies over the string once, backs the drone up, and there you see he's gonna reel in the string. This is 75 feet, there's a green mark on that string. So he reels it into the green mark. And then that, right now they're actually putting out dye or uh, water sensitive paper cards. So with each one of these tests, not only do we do a pattern test with the string, we also do a droplet size test um, and a droplet density test on spray cards. So what happens after the string is sprayed? Well, after the string is sprayed, we're going to take these into, they take the string into the office and they have a special uh, spectrometer that can read the density of the fluorescent dye on the string as it passes through. And so they run each of those three applications through the, uh, the spectrometer and then it basically shows you kind of a bell curve. So where the application, where the outside uh, starts, so you have a few droplets here, and it increases as it gets to the center of the drone, decreases as it gets to the other side. And so essentially what that's gonna tell us is it's gonna tell us uh, what is the effective swath width whenever you take in your overlap into consideration. So we'll go inside and we'll take a look at that, uh, that computer and that reader here in just a second. So we're running the test right now. We should have the results very soon. This machine actually tests this string uh, very quickly. So we've got about 29 tests, uh, different height, speeds, all that kind of stuff. We should have all of those results available to you guys on our custom resource folder. If you have any questions about this test or uh, explanations about how the results are presented, let us know. Thanks.